Tyler from Carpen Central and I'm here at my local pond going after some nice carp. It's 10.50, so 10 to 11. Just got my rod out and see if we can get some nice carp. The weather's overcast today, so it's perfect and it's warm. It's been warm for a few days, so it's looking good for some nice carp. So the water's nice and warm and it's quite high. The water level's quite high, so we should be into a carp soon. Oh, I had a pull up on my drop just now. So, may I get everyone on camera? We don't know. I think my drop just shot up then. No bleeps, don't know why. I might have forgot to my bite of armor. Yeah, and the water's calm, no wind, so the water will remain warm. So, it should be looking, it's looking good for a carp. The rod's been out for about a minute now, and I've had some knocks already. So, I'm very confident. I'll be talking from my rigs later on and what I use. So, yeah. In a bit. Hi, this is my rod. I've got a Fox Warrior ES, 12 foot, 2.75 pound test curve. That's my rod. It's very good. I've had some big fish on it. This is my reel, Mac TF Gear Max Power Big Pit reel. It's good for reeling the big carp and it's a good caster as well. I've got a gardener bug bobbin. That's quite good for my bite alarms. I'm just fishing out there where I've caught a lot of fish from in the past. So, yeah. Uh, so yeah, this is my new channel. I used to be with the three fishermen, but uh, I left and decided to come and, uh, go solo. So I'm mainly a carp fisher, but I do do other things like roach and rud and bream and tench. But I enjoy carp fishing the most. I'll be going through rigs, bait, and everything in my videos. Everything, how to make boilies or whatever. Whatever you want. Message and ask me if you want. Uh, I might do a few competitions later on when I'm uh, getting a bit better at making videos. And I'll be showing you some nice carp along the way. So, I'll see if I can get one today. I've only been here for about an hour now, but I think we can get one. So, I'll see you in a bit. Uh, hi. It's been about two hours now, three hours. I still haven't caught anything. I've, I've had a few knocks. The weather's starting to get a bit cooler and it's starting to get a bit more windy and it's rained a few times. So that's good for the carp. They'll all be feeding on the bottom. There's been a few coming up. So if they continue to do that, I'll probably set up my rod for a floating bit of bread. But I don't know. The trouble is there's so many coots and ducks swimming over my bait, it's just going to scare them off. So, I'll see what happens in a bit. I might change tactics, I don't know. I'll speak to you. Hi, uh, i going to talk about my rig. On, on my rig, my hook link is made out of this ESP. It's obviously backwards because of the camera, but ESP, Ghost. 15 pound fluorocarbon. It's got a diameter of 0.41 millimeters. It's thick, but it's just about. Um, it's got the same light refraction properties as water, so it's near invisible for the carp to see. So that's a brilliant thing. I've had a lot of fish off it, and it's not too expensive either. It's 4.99 or 20 meters, which is a good price for fluorocarbon. So I'm just getting that. It's very good. Works very well. Um, I went on a holiday last week, that's where I got it, and I caught so many fish off it, good doubles. I caught so many fish off it, so, see if it works today. Today, I'm uh, using sweet corn, because it's very visual, and you can catch a lot here on it, so, it always works well. It's just a fallback bait, whatever the weather, it'll catch. 
I've just come back off a fishing holiday, so I haven't got much bait or anything. So I packed light. I've only brought one rod. It's light tackle, so hopefully get caught. Here comes the rain. It's raining quite hard. You can probably hear it. Jeez. So it's getting quite chilly now as well. It was really hot earlier, but it's getting quite cold. So the fish might start going towards the bottom now. I don't know. We'll just see what happens. Right. Okay, right. I've been seeing a lot of fish rolling over on that reed bed there. So I'm thinking whether to recast over there in a bit. But also, I've been seeing one or two rolling over my bed under that tree over there. So I'm going to stick with it where I am for a bit. Probably half an hour more. Then I'll probably recast. See if I can get some fish. The clouds are starting to darken up now. So I'm expecting it to throw it down in a minute. But that's all good for the carp fishing. So I've got my brolly up, so I'm alright. In a bit. Hi, these are the hooks that I like to use. I always use them. They are the ESP uh, Raptor Curve Shank. Barbless, because that's all you have to use on here. I've got a size 10 on my rig, but I haven't got any left, so I'll just show you these. They're very good. Coated in Teflon, so they work even better. Perfect for carp fishing. The aggressive curve allows it to uh, grip hold of the bottom lip or top lip easier. So it's more of an effective rig when you use them. I'd recommend them to anyone. Very good quality by ESP. They're very nice. Okay, I'm just about, it's now two o'clock. I've just had my first bit of action. I was um, sitting down and my bobbin dropped right down to the bottom. Bleeping, ran up to my rod, struck it, got it up. I felt it on, the hook just pulled straight away. So I've recasted, put some more bait in and hopefully it won't be too long for the fish to come back into the area. Well, I've got a fish, but it's not a carp. It's a little tench. So, it's not good. It means there's probably no carp in the area, but I'll keep at it. I'll show you what bait I caught them on in a minute. See in a bit. Well, I've changed off sweet corn now. You just saw that tench I caught. I caught them on a bit of this. It's called a carp stick. That, uh, I don't know who they're made by, don't know where we got them from. It's just nutty, fruity, flair smell, smells really strong. And you just snap a bit off and put it on the hair. And that's what I caught that tench on. Didn't think a tench would take that, but obviously they do. So I'll see if we can get a carp. Hopefully I can get a carp. Because isn't really what I was going for. Oh, liner. What? Yeah, liner. That might lead to a run soon, but I'm not sure. I've only just cast out again, so it was literally that far away from the bank. So it's reassuring to see that I've got a liner, and we know that I'm not snagged. Right, I've seen a bit. Hi. I'm not sure I'm going to get anything else. If I do, I'll show you. But I'm not sure. Um, I'm a bit disappointed with the only thing I caught today, which was that tench, but it's a fish, so at least I didn't blank. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to comment and subscribe. And in case you were second, so if you're doing much grateful. Uh, thanks for watching. See ya.